Welcome to your weekly market update. Welcome favorite pre-approved buyers. Welcome favorite realtors that watch this. Uh, we're seeing interest rates remain strong since the big drop about two weeks ago. Uh, so I'll bring up those charts in a second. Uh, the positive news is we're starting to see some signs of inflation contained. Now, typically mortgage rates are higher during uh, good economies <clears throat> and mortgage rates are lower during bad economies. What trumps that all is inflation. Inflation is the arch enemy of interest rates of the stock market. The only market that's really performed well, cryptos have been crushed, uh, stocks have been crushed, bonds have had their worst years since the depression. People think bonds are a safe investment. They haven't been this year. Uh, so what does that mean? Uh, there are two places where, which are performing well, real estate and commodities. Commodities are oil, copper, um, you know, metals, materials, things of that nature. So those are the two markets only performing well. So people think recession equals uh, home prices coming down. That's not the case when inflation is low. In fact, uh, real estate is a place, a safe haven where people put their money, uh, where they know they might not get as large a return as the stock market, which uh, hasn't been true the last two years. The real estate markets perform just as well as the stock market. Uh, stock market's been getting killed this year. Real estate's remained strong and gradually still appreciating in most areas. So it's a great time to buy. Um, we are confident that mortgage rates will be much lower. Uh, Fannie Mae saying as low as four and a half percent next year. Um, so I think it is marry the home, date the interest rate, divorce the rent. I'll continue to say it. Let me bring you up a few uh, things to be aware of. So just um, what we are seeing as far as credit card spending, this is the sign of a start of a recession. Now, I don't want the economy to do poorly, but we uh, want to see mortgage rates come down. That benefits our industry, benefit, benefits home ownership. So uh, a recession would likely equal inflation coming down. Inflation coming down means mortgage rates will come down. So you can see since uh, July or January of this year, just the rapid increase. Credit card balances have increased 15%. It's the biggest jump since 2001's recession. Um, so there is that chart. Second thing is, savings has been deteriorating. Now, savings was hitting all-time highs uh, after the first stimulus check. Here's the second stimulus check. Here's the third stimulus check from COVID. So this was an illusion that the economy was so well, in my opinion. It was aided by government spending, and people started using that money to live a lifestyle. Uh, so savings is at its lowest point now since 2008. Uh, and just lastly, <clears throat> there's an inversion on the yield curve. Uh, this has happened um, right here around 2006, which signaled the 2007 recession, um, right in 2019, which signaled the 2020 recession, uh, which was really caused by COVID, but it did sig signal it. And now here we are again. Uh, so What's that tell you? That a recession's likely. Now, people panic when they hear that word and freeze. I think it's opportunity. Uh, wealthy people look at recessions as time of opportunities, buying stocks low, buying real estate where there might be a, uh, negotiations from the sellers. So just know that it is a fantastic time uh, to buy a home. Lastly, you can see this levels where mortgage rates have stayed. That is since... Uh, two Thursdays ago when uh, we got the good news that the Consumer Price Index report was contained. So you can see we've been battling along this line and uh, we have some good floor support. So we expect the mortgage rates to uh, stay around this level. Uh, there's going to be some sort of big news that breaks it out one direction or another, a surprise in the market. So um, great time to buy. Interest rates are lower than they've been um, in over a month. And we see sellers negotiating on price. If you want to lock in your interest rate at these levels, please contact my team and we can help you out with that. 312-731-4939.